At first glance, it looks like any other farm in the Blue Ridge Mountains, an hour's drive from Washington, D.C. But these are no ordinary grazers. They're Vicent, rare European bison. And this fellow is a Pear David's deer, extinct in the wild for over 2,000 years. It's the Smithsonian's Conservation and Research Center, a 3,200-acre breeding farm for the National Zoo, called a modern-day Noah's Ark by its curator in charge, Chris Wemmer. I would say about half of the animals that we have are endangered. The other half are threatened, which means that we're really not certain of their status in the wild. And other species, such as the camel, uh, the reindeer, are domesticated species which have a, a high interest rating for the public. Research is as important as breeding at the center, with zoologists studying the behavior and reproductive cycles of the Australian tree kangaroo, for example, and the lesser panda. For animals like the Chinese Pear David's deer, this can be very tricky in a living situation resembling the wild. An animal that's living in a zoo paddock on bare ground uh, will always go into its barn to be fed. So you can always close the door behind it when you need to. Here, because there's food available everywhere, uh, we don't really have that kind of control. So we have to work a lot harder at being able to manipulate these animals. Animals bred at the center can now be seen at zoos all over the U.S. This exotic creature, however, from the jungles of Brazil, may soon have a more unusual and important destination. The largest segment of the golden lion tamarind population in the world is in captivity. And the National Zoo has had a very successful program of managing the species. So there are hopes now, of course, to reintroduce some of these animals that have been raised in captivity to the wild to restock the wild population. But in the meantime, the golden lion tamarinds, tree kangaroos, and the others have a secure country home at the National Zoo's Conservation and Research Center in Front Royal, Virginia. Here at the Smithsonian, I'm Ann Carroll.